In 1934, Adolf Hitler abolished the position of head of state and cemented his role as the dictator of Germany. Soon after, Hitler began what will be known today as the Holocaust, as well as the German takeover of Europe. By 1940, the Germans had already occupied Poland and began occupying other European countries in their near vicinity. On April 9, 1940, German forces invaded Denmark and Norway as part of Operation Wieserbund. Unlike the Norwegians, who successfully resisted the German conquest attempts until June 10, 1940, the Danish government quickly surrendered only two hours after the attack began without any effort to fight their own occupation, nor even try and delay. We were in school that day, we saw loads and loads of planes, bombing planes coming one after, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of planes coming in and Germans on motorcycles, horses, dragging cannons and the big tanks all over the place. It didn't take more than a couple of hours till they took over the country. Like I said, they couldn't resist. Denmark was a very small country. And uh, life went on as before, except that you're not allowed to walk on this side of the street. In front of the bank, they would post soldiers with uh, guns and, and steel helmets and things like that in front of the banks and the hotels and important institutions that they wanted to guard. But besides that, nothing happened really. The police was in force and the Danish army was, although they were there, they had not much to say or to do, but uh, they were all, life was continuing the way it was. This failure to not even try and stand up to the Germans made many angry and upset at the Danish government. Nud Peterson, despite being a teenage schoolboy, was also extremely upset by this as well. I was 14 years old when the German military invaded and attacked Denmark with practically no resistance. Young people were very frustrated and furious that the grown-up people didn't do anything. This caused Peterson to found the Churchill Club, a group of eight teenage vigilantes devoted to fighting the Germans. The Churchill Club's members were all boys from the Albert Cathedral School in the north of Jutland, Denmark. Starting in 1941, the club began acts of sabotage against the Germans. Their many acts of sabotage include stealing weapons and destroying vehicles, blueprints, and plane parts. This angered the Germans and upset their operations, and soon there were bounties put on the capture of the Churchill Club's members. When the German government finally had enough, they promptly ordered the Danish government to promptly arrest the members of the Churchill Club. As a whole, the Churchill Club succeeded in carrying out 25 acts of sabotage prior to their arrest in May of 1942, the following year. The boys were charged with a total of 1.86 billion kroner, or about 210 million US dollars for the destroyed German property, and their jail sentences ranged from two to three years in prison. The 25 acts of sabotage that the Churchill Club conducted across their months of operation not only caused the Germans billions of dollars in damage, but also slowed down the complete control of Denmark, impeded the control of other European nations by the Germans, and lastly it also stalled operations relating to the genocide of Jews or the Holocaust. What the boys in the Churchill Club didn't realize was that their actions were being heard across their nation. Many were furious at the lack of government resistance like the members of the Churchill Club were. When it was made public by the press and government that the Churchill Club was fighting and standing up to the Germans, this inspired many to rebel against the Germans as well. In 1940, the Germans invaded and took over Denmark. In 1941, a group of schoolboys in a little Danish town founded the Churchill Club. In 1942, all of the members of the Churchill Club were detained. In 1943, the Danish resistance began. Within the span of a mere three years, the country of Denmark went from surrendering to the Germans to being one of their strongest opposing forces. The Danish resistance against the Germans quickly becomes known across the world for its huge and powerful role against the Germans. At 20,000 strong, 
The Danish resistance did whatever they could to try and take a stand against the Germans and protect their nation. The Danish resistance was very set towards their actions due to their fundamental values. In Denmark, the new German philosophy of discriminating against Jews was extremely different to how people of Denmark were living before. The Danish simply didn't believe that discriminating against Jews because they were Jewish was right. In 1943 alone, the Danish resistance rescued all but 500 of Denmark's Jewish population from being sent to the German concentration camps, saving them from torture and death. The Danish resistance members put in extremely large amounts of effort to provide a safe escape for Jews. The resistance's primary means of doing this was by transferring them to Sweden in boats. The first night I remember I had two or three, no two trips to Sweden. And I think we got 10 to 12 passengers every time. And then later on we had in October 700 Jews and uh, totally I know that this boat brought uh, about 1,400 people from them to Sweden. Another major key event was the disruption of the Danish railway network in the days after D-Day, which delayed the movement of German troops to France's reinforcements. This saved many lives on the Allied side of the war. By the end of the war, the organized resistance movement in Denmark had scored many successes. It is believed to have killed nearly 400 enemies throughout 1943 to 1945 who were either enemy informers or collaborators thought to pose a threat to the resistance's actions. All of this was the effect of the Churchill Club, the eight simple schoolboys who took a stand for what they believed was right for their country. Their simple stand for what they thought was right inspired tens of thousands of others to take a stand for what they thought was right as well, saving many lives and helping to end a terrible time period.